Welcome back to Sports Now. We are joined now by Mark Parrish. Good to see you. Jim, good to, good see, to you, see you, buddy. You. Change your profession now. You're now a guy who is giving back to a sport that gave so much to you. And, and I know that's always been important for you. Even while you were starring in the NHL, you always would help out kids or go to practices and stuff. But now this is a whole different animal, being the head coach of the Orono Boys High School team. Yeah, this is a much different animal, much different animal. You know, l luckily I have uh, both my parents as teachers and, and they were all about giving back and educating and knowledge and uh, they, they put that into us instinctively at a young age, my brother and I, that we wanted to give back and coach and just naturally just, just whatever we've learned we want to pass on. Everything I've learned was a mistake that I've made and hopefully I can pass it on and somebody else won't make that same stupid mistake. <laughs> All right, now, you, we only know you from this and watching you on the ice, but you allowed one of our photographers, Vince Stalling, to come mm. into the locker room yesterday. And so now you're going to see what really Mark Parrish is like when he is alone with his players. I, I'm a little nervous about this. Here we go. That's it, go, go, go. Let's get it deep here, get it deep here. I tip that. Set course, set away course. Hey, 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 not right there, not right there. Hey guys, when we got a stick that breaks, we're all on the blue line D, just get that deep. That's it guys, that's it guys, that's it guys. The shift, that's it. We, twice we had a chance, a puck on our stick on the wall, and we had no support coming across. That's it, boys. That's it, boys. Stay out of it. Once the whistle blows, we stay out of it, boys. We can't give that free pass into our end. Oh! What happened to Davey there? That's it, Drew. That's it, Robbie. That's it, Robbie. Here we go. Here we go. It's two odd man rushes. The puck doesn't even get below their blue line. You guys came off twice now. That change was terrible. You guys believe us? On turnovers? Yeah. Yeah. Do we just have to lose a game until we realize that we can't turn the puck over? That we're not all Patrick Kane and we can't stick handle through everyone, especially if we're not feeling well? And if we don't stop and start this damn period, we'll stop and start plenty on Monday. <laughs> I have a right to be nervous. How about that? Now, <laughs> who, who is that? Is that Jacques uh, Lemaire? Is that one of your <laughs> Islander coaches? Is, who, who have you uh, taken bits and pieces from? Is it Craig all of Dahl? The above. All, of the, all of the above. Everyone that, uh, <laughs> that was really embarrassing actually. <laughs> I can't lie. <laughs> I was wondering how it was going to sound. That was interesting. Um, no, but um, all of the above. I, I really have. There's been uh, coaches that I respect a ton. Uh, Jacques Lemaire being one of them. I know there's the bit we do and everything on uh, k right. But uh, no, I mean, I, I learned a ton from that man. He's a genius. And uh, what he thought of me as a player is completely beside the point. And Peter Laviolette, uh, Dan Bilesma, uh, even players being around, Scott Mellenby, Phil House, Dino Cicerelli, all these guys. It's just bits and pieces of everything, myself. And, 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 and I can't underestimate how much uh, Matt Cook has done coming in with his enthusiasm and helping out. It's just been spectacular as well as uh, Justin Pago, Will Schultz, and Rich Anderson, but uh, you know, Cookie coming in just just out of the NHL, he's he's he's, he's kind of forced me to get competitive again. It's actually kind of good because <laughs> he's a little sharper than I am coming just out of the game, and it's been a couple of years for me. So there's some kind of small little details where where he's kind of got that freedom over the other coaches that that yes, he can correct me if I'm off a little bit on the mark there. But that's just out of respect from obviously what he's done where he's come from. So what's been the biggest surprise for you now that they've given you the keys to a team? Um, the kids have been just so much fun, actually, more than anything. Uh, the, the parents, yeah, they, they've had, there's been their moments already uh, in the first couple of weeks, but uh, the kids just through ups and downs, the character, uh, the commitment, everything that they've shown us is, is, we couldn't ask for anything more on that end and the hard work that they give us day in and day out. We just, we couldn't ask for more of our coaches.